What's going on everybody? John Mosley here, Artistic Director for John Paul Mitchell Systems. I kind of handle everything kind of barbering, our men's world, right? So today, we got a little gift for you guys. First off, we want to thank you for joining us on our Paul Mitchell YouTube channel. And then now, let's get into some brushing up. You know, you sit in the shops, you see barbers always using their brushes and things like that. And you want to know where they get their skills from? So today, I'm bringing you somebody that's super skillful in everything men's. And we're gonna to talk to our boy Sin today. My dog Sin, he's super talented, national educator for JPMS, a shop owner, an educator, a father, he's everything. But more importantly, he's here today to help you brush up on your barbering skills. So Sin, take it away. Hey guys, on today's brush up video, I have my model Z today. Z has really short hair, but what we're gonna be doing is going through a nice short bald fade on the sides and on the top. Lucky for you guys, we're actually gonna be showing off our new Maverick high hold pomade, so stay tuned for that. So the tools I'll be using today are gonna to be my foil shaver, trimmer, clipper, my combs, my scissors, my guards, clipper brush, and finishing off with some razor work. Hey guys, in this barber brush up video I have here today, my client here, Z, what we'll be doing is a nice bald fade, working from a really short length on the bottom up to the top. So my first step here is I'll be taking my trimmer and just establishing my shortest length on the bottom here. All right, so my next step here, in order for me to get a really clean fade on the bottom here, I'll be using my foil shaver. When I'm using my foil shaver, I wanna make sure that I stop right below my trimmer line that I had just created. So using the shavers really helps me create that shorter length on the bottom um, to really prolong that hair from growing out too fast. And it's gonna give me a really nice polish at the very end of that haircut. So my next step here is I'll be working from the bottom up in this haircut. So my next step would be working into my clipper in an open position to create a guideline right on top of this trimmer line to make sure when I trim, take out that bottom line as I work my way up, I don't push that fade up too high. In the open position, I'll come up about a finger's width above that trimmer line. Setting this next guideline with my clipper open allows me to keep my fade in a place to where I want it when I'm blending out that bottom line. Now in order for me to blend out that bottom line here, I'll work into my clipper in that closed position. And as I work my way up to my next guideline, I'm slowly gonna open my clipper until I get to the top of my guideline, which was when my clipper opened. I am stretching the skin because his hair grows really tight to his scalp. And so stretching the skin allows me to uh, kind of stand the hairs up into where it gets fed into the clipper to get a cleaner cut. And again, as I work my way up to that next guideline, I'm slowly gonna open up my clipper until I get to that top guideline. All right, so my next step after my half line here is I'm gonna take my next guard up, which is my number one guard, and I'm gonna set another guideline above here about another finger's width in height. Again, setting this next guideline is gonna allow me to keep the fade where I want it without pushing the fade up too high. Now, in order for me to soften up that half line here right below my number one guard, I'm now jumping in with my half guard, starting with it closed and as I work my way up again, slowly opening up my clipper. Now that those lines on the bottom under that one guard are all softened, I will now put my number one guard back on and fade my way up now. So I'll start in the open position and work my way up. Now my last step to blend out this white line at the top of the parietal ridge from segment two 
I'm just going to do clipper over comb to finish this off. After my clipper over comb, if I need to refine this blend at the top, I can take my next guard up, which would be my one and a half guard, and refine this blend at the top. I use clipper over comb first just to remove that bulk and that length and all that weight at the top in order for me to see what's under all that weight there. It's a faster technique to where I don't have to rely too much on guards and I'm able to still maintain the shape up top here and this length up here by just using clipper over comb. Yeah, so within barbering, we always want to create balance from side to side in a haircut. So usually whatever steps you do on one side, it's always going to be the same on the other side. Now, depending on how you learn and the type of barber you are or stylist that you are, um, and a common question that gets asked is, do you work from one side to the other side in each step? Or do you complete one side and then complete the other side as well? Um, it really just comes down to your personal preference. I prefer if you work from side to side, it's gonna be easier for a newer learner to um, create that balance. But after years of experience and years of cutting, you start to gain a little bit more confidence and have an eye. You kind of build a natural eye for cutting hair. And so in some cases you can just complete one fade on one side and then another, the other fade on the other side um, and still have that balance from side to side. But a lot of times within a lot of haircuts, uh, you know, with the common fade and the common taper, every step's always almost going to be the same. It's just you're going to conform those steps into whatever canvas that you're working with when it, well, it has to do with their bone structure or their hair texture or their density and their formation. But all in all, it's always going to be the same step. It's just going to be uh, altered for your client. All right, so now cutting through the top, what I'm gonna be doing is just starting from the high crown and working my way to the front hairline. I'm gonna be taking sections from side to side. And all these sections are gonna be elevated straight up towards the ceiling and the cutting line is gonna be nice and flat from side to side. My guest haircut is already fairly short, so I'm just following the same line that he has previously in his previous haircut. And I'm just trimming off about a half an inch. So when I establish my guide in the high crown, I'm gonna be using that as a traveling guide. So I'm gonna be taking my guide and combing it to my new section as I work my way forward. As I work my way to the front hairline, what I'll do is pull or over direct that section back to me to preserve length to make sure we have styling options. All right, so now to finish off this haircut, I'm gonna blow dry everything over and to the right just to set a good foundation so I don't have to apply too much product in the very end for the finished look. So now as I work into just refinement, what I'm using is my texturizing scissor. The reason why I'm choosing to use this tool now is just to kind of soften up any weight lines I see at the top of the Prado Ridge here. It's gonna allow me to remove a little bit of that weight but still maintain some of that length through the top to where it doesn't get cut too short. Key things I'm looking for when I'm using this tool is really just any dark or dense areas that I'm, uh, I see in the haircut that are affecting that blend. I'm using the wide tooth comb of my uh, wide tooth of my comb to make sure that hair gets spread out evenly to where nothing gets cut too short. So to clean up my last step here, what I'll use is my trimmers just to kind of line up around the hairline to give a nice clean finish. When I'm using my trimmers around the hairline here in the temple region, what I'll be doing is just using the corner of my trimmers to kind of etch out and clean up that natural hairline. So 
So for my finished look, I'm gonna be featuring our new Maverick High Hold Pomade. It's still gonna be that great water soluble pomade, but it's gonna give us a lot more hold. So throughout the day, you're not gonna to have to worry about your style falling out. This pomade's still gonna give us that natural shine, but just a lot more hold. So I like to emulsify it in my hands and really work it through the hair. Once the product is nice and evenly distributed, I'm gonna grab a comb to set my final style. I told you guys we were not coming to play today. My man, Sin, laid it out all on the line for us and showed us how to use Maverick, showed us how to use a little Mitch. So Sin, how do you feel about it? I feel great. Thanks for the kind words, John. And I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. And don't forget to check out the rest of the Barber Brush Up series. Don't forget, comment, like, share, and then subscribe and turn on those notifications. And check us out next time. <laughs>